Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the F-15C and we're looking at the cockpit. This is a Flaming Cliffs 3 model, otherwise known as a low fidelity model. And as with all of the low fidelity model, what we've got is about 20% of the cockpit controls, buttons and switches you can see here, is interactive passively only and 0% is interactive actively. So there are no switches and knobs I can press with my mouse here. That's just how a low fidelity aircraft is. So this whole bank, what we call the left console, nothing is interactive here apart from we've got our, our throttle. This right bank, this right console is also not interactive passively or actively. So we can ignore both consoles basically. What we've got here, the flight instruments. Most of this is interactive passively. So if we do a kind of left to right sweep, we've got the flaps here just telling us what our flaps are doing indicators so i press the f button our flaps are now coming down once we've reached full travel they're down and put them up so that's in transit and they will disappear gear lever press the g key and they come down once they finish transit i will get three green and put them back up next we've got our sms screen stores management screen it tells us which weapons we have in which station we can press the weapon select button to cycle through different types of weapons it tells us we've got fuel tanks on that pile and that pile and that pile and we've got that chaff we've got that flare and that's pretty much all that's actually interactive in that screen next is our radar b scope this is simplified to what the real f-15 b scope is but it is essentially interactive actively i can go on and actually do things find targets change settings and stuff like that so that is simplified but interactive next is the hard passively interactive and i've got a full video of that everything works in the hud more or less as the real aircraft would do none of this radio or hud stuff is interactive at all we've got here passively interactive dials we've got our speedo here in knots along with a mac meter inside here everything there works fine we've got our angle of attack meter here so we're currently at uh, whatever that says 16 now remember this is units not degrees so that was about six degrees angle of attack on that something like that we've got our g meter our accelerometer down to minus five and plus ten and it remembers historical g that's passively interactive our adi here is passively interactive as well as giving us general situational awareness if i unpause here you can see obviously does what an adi does artificial horizon we've also got direct indicators from our ILS here in the form of those two bars there and we've got full videos about ILS we've got your slip gauge there here is our HSI our horizontal horizontal situation indicator this acts like a compass but it also tells us how to interact with our waypoints now in the real F-15 it's more complex than that but in the this FC3 model it can allow us to interact with our waypoints tell us how far they are and which direction they are none of the other functionality of here works We've got a backup ADI here that works, a backup speedo that works, and a backup altimeter that works. Here is our primary barometric altimeter. It's passively interactive. We, it does not work on pressure settings. Again, it's a simplified model. Here is a working passive VSI vertical speed indicator. It's telling us that we're kind of diving, diving by that many thousands of feet per minute. Here is a chronometer. It's passively interactive. For some reason it's not working at the moment, probably because I've got it paused. Next is our RWR, Radar Warning Receiver, and it is passively interactive, and I've got a full video on that. I've skipped over some of these lights. Some of these lights do work, like Master Caution works, some of the fire lights work. Next is our engine speed, so RPM of each left engine and right engine. I can change that, you see. Because it's paused, some of them will work, some of the gauges won't work. The temperature of the turbine area of each engine in hundreds of degrees and we've got here the fuel flow in pounds per hour per engine we've got the nozzle position of each engine that works in terms of percent we've got hydraulic systems passively works here so you've got pc1 your primary pc2 your secondary hydraulics these are flight control hydraulics these are your utility hydraulics for non-flight controls and you've got your oil pressure of the engines which change obviously like a car engine with speed we've got simplified passively uh, interactive fuel gauge here we've got the total fuel with basically gross fuel here and that's pretty much it stick wobbles but you can't press the buttons per se uh, the rudder pedals wobble which is good if we move up to the abo we've got mirrors here that do work uh, there we go turn them on with the m key 
We've got various warning lights up here, like shoot cues, refueling cues. Uh, that I can't show you at the moment, but we do have passively interactive uh, light cues up here. Uh, we have a magnetic compass up there. Otherwise, that's pretty much all we've got in terms of interactivity with the cockpit of the F-15C Flaming Cliffs 3 module. I hope that was useful. See you later.